Hi everyone. Okay, now I am finally live. <laughs> I'm so new to this. <laughs> I'm so behind. Okay, we're waiting for Vanessa to join the live and connect this time. Good afternoon to you. Well, good evening. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so like, glad we managed to join each other. Like this was so hard at the beginning. I'm so new to this. This is my first time ever. Like I was so worried. I have to ask some of my my friends. Like, how do we do this? How do we go live? And how do we connect to other people? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but it's not hard. You managed. Uh, well, thanks to you too, actually, because just now, um, yeah, I asked you earlier. <laughs> and then, yes. Yeah. Thank yes, you. but you'll you see, it's so going to become easier. easier next time. <laughs> I think I'm going to do more often because I feel like I'm having fun already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. I love it. So how are you? How was your day? Oh, it was, it was really, um, it was a long day. Very good good day we actually did like um different photo shoots uh we did like um four different outfits for the official photo shoot so i'm just so excited to share to the fans out there because they're actually waiting for the official photo shoot yeah so what's your plan for today oh my god official photo shoots are so much fun <laughs> actually every photo shoot i love doing photo shoots Oh. Um, today I have a very long schedule actually I have so much to do like with social media and oh. I have some brands I'm I'm endorsing I have endorsements so I have to work with them yeah so I have a very long day but actually I'm so excited I love what I do so I'm I'm really happy like all the time while working it's like so exciting for me I love it you said you love modeling are you actually like a uh, full-time model is it like your career before joining miss el salvador i used to be modeling more um a couple of years ago but now i'm just like i have more brands endorsements with like social media but i'm still modeling yes i love it it, it was actually my hobby but i was dedicating my full time to studying i just graduated this year i'm from the 2020 prom so oh. COVID came and actually I couldn't get my title like on an event, on an actual event. I didn't get the ceremony, oh, yeah. but we will try to celebrate it on January, hopefully. Yeah. Oh yeah, hopefully. Hopefully you can um, go to the ceremony by uh, January. Hopefully yes, how go about home. you? How has COVID been like in Cambodia? Um, actually, Surprisingly, Cambodia is uh, doing pretty well. There's not much cases going on because uh, our government has been like uh, really hands on taking good care of everyone. So, yeah, we're pretty safe out here because everyone has been like practicing social distancing there. We have been really careful. What about you guys? That's good. Yeah, we're actually the same. Like our president was actually known for being the first in Latin America to take so many like different kind of um he was trying to take care of us so much beforehand mm. like before everything began mm. so we had like all these protocols and like different things going on before so many countries and like we were actually doing really really good at the beginning wow we have some cases increasing right now but we're doing good like everybody's Absolutely. taking yeah. care of each other yeah. like people That's are good. wearing their masks around which was very cultural shocking for us because yeah, we're not used to it at all I but know, everybody's but doing it so i feel I proud to do this actually um our prime minister uh, raised 
fund uh, for the vaccine so we could like import the vaccine into our country uh, hopefully very soon and within like less than 24 hours we actually raised to like almost 30 million dollars and we're really wow. like, we're really like grateful for this and so hopefully that you know we could receive uh, more funds from the people around and you know let this COVID go away real soon that's yeah. impressive it was a very smart move i'm glad yeah, you guys like, did that we're so like grateful that we have so much support because you know like um since vaccine is now you know possible to uh prevent from being you know having the covid and so uh yeah well we're actually really uh, lucky <laughs> we're really grateful for that yeah, I agree so, with you. It was a very good move, actually. Like other governments should start doing the same thing. I, we should I, like I, learn from each other and yeah. like try to do whatever works for other people. Yeah. It should also work for different countries. So that's amazing. Mm. It was a really good move. I, I'm glad well, you guys did that. <laughs> Thank you. Well, uh, I'm I'm pretty sure uh, your president and uh, the leader of your country will. Uh, help and solve the problem as soon as possible as well because I believe that every country has their own ways of solving issues so yeah um, God bless your country and hopefully everything goes well as, as well <laughs> oh, thank you Sarita you're so sweet God bless your country too you're so beautiful <laughs> ever since we started talking like you have this like angel voice you're so <laughs> sweet like I really love you like it's amazing <laughs> I bet we're gonna have so much fun at Miss Universe. <laughs> okay, so actually, uh, we're gonna tell the fans right now that they actually asked us what is actually the main reason that we're going live right now. So we just wanted to let you guys that are watching right now that uh, the purpose of doing this live video is so we can get to know each other more and, you know, sister bonding because during Miss Universe, we are very sure that we will all be very busy and so i don't think like we will even have time to like chit chat much so yeah that is actually uh the main reason of going live oh i think i lost you vanessa oh okay all right we're actually we lost vanessa I'm so not used to this. Oh, one second. Okay. All right, we're actually... Oh my God, this is so ah. weird. It had never happened to me before. What happened? <laughs> I just <laughs> went, I disappeared. I left the chat completely, the live. Yeah, I saw... It's okay. We have problems sometimes. Yes, <laughs> I agree. Like, it's today, no? Uh, oh, wait. It's breaking up again, Vanessa. Can you hear me? Um. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, okay. So, um, since we're, like, recently crowned, you were crowned as Miss el salvador early november right yes yes yeah, yeah, so so, the second of november so i've been you, queen for a month feel? how do you feel after i feel crowned? amazing like actually it's been so exciting i thought it would be like a little bit more relaxed but i'm enjoying every part of the process you know like we've been having such a busy agenda ever since i got crowned I went to New York. I've been doing all these activities here in El Salvador. And then I had all those meetings in New York. So it was like very exciting. I've been getting like all these open doors, which is something like beautiful. That's part of being Miss El Salvador. And I bet you're having this too. Like it's oh. so exciting because like everybody's like together, trying to help yeah. you, supporting you, giving you so much love. And you can really feel all the support from the people, not not just in your country, but like everywhere in the world. 
So it's so amazing. Like I'm loving the whole experience. It's so much oh, fun. That's great. That's great. Yes. Well, when were you crowned, actually? Um, the 26th of November. Oh my God! So you got yeah. just a couple of weeks. Yeah, two, a week and like... a half, two weeks. No. <laughs> yeah. How I'm has it been? Still, I'm trying to still like um, let it sink in that I am Miss Universe Cambodia 2020, and I'm like. I want really Miss Universe Cambodia. <laughs> yes, it's so exciting, right? Oh, I love it. I actually feel like it's a one in a lifetime experience and you have to take full of the advantage of it because it's never going to come back. And whatever you're doing now, it's just going to be part of your life forever. It's something really beautiful. I know, right? It's a, a title that will be with us for the rest of our lives. And so I'm like, wow. Or, you know, you're Miss El Salvador. I'm Miss Universe Cambodia. And it's just something really amazing that I will never take it for granted. And yeah, you're right. We need to like make the most out of it. Enjoy as much as possible. We have one whole year to do anything with the platform that you know you currently have and so yeah <laughs> i really love the filter you're in right now i want to try oh uh, thank <laughs> you i love yours i love yours <laughs> I think, but I yes think i agree so with you like we really need to take advantage of this like experience mm -hmm. and i bet we're gonna make so many friends like oh, i okay. i love how this will like make us meet all the different cultures and all the different girls from everywhere. It will be like, we will have a lifetime experience in the Miss Universe and I bet it will come back to us, with us back home. So that will be amazing. Yeah, I'm actually very, very, very excited. And um, we don't know when exactly yet, so hopefully it happens soon and uh, all the girls are well prepared and yeah, we get to see each other soon. And so have you done any um, social work at the moment or for now just uh, your personal work? Well, actually I have been doing social work all my life. So that was like a great thing because I have a personal foundation. I have oh, a foundation so called Angel Hands. Yeah, so I've been working with it for a couple of years already. And I've been helping different causes. Especially, mm. we started with, like, helping centers of kids with cancer. Mm -hmm. Because well, it's so something that I have very personal. I have had very personal experiences with it, with my family. So mm -hmm. I want, I really wanted to help in that area. But then my country, we've had like different, like natural disasters and yeah. all this kind of different stuff that I've been trying to help in different locations. Mm -hmm. So actually my foundation helps like every kind of case, everyone oh. who has a need. So I love that. And right now, since I won, I've been so busy trying to get my preparation ready and like what I'm going to do, where I'm going to, what I'm going to uh, go, where I'll go and what I'll do, who I'll get prepared with. Yeah, so I've been trying yeah. to like figure out all these little details right now. Yeah. But of course, like I'm trying to have um, my foundation on the side and trying to like do everything at the same time. Sometimes it's very overwhelming because mm -hmm. there's so much going on. And actually people don't know, but there's like preparation is very tough and it we is, have a lot is. of tasks to get so, done. So much work, yeah, so much I work. I know, so and you don't really fall. realize until you're doing it. Yeah, it is. Wow, yes, I'm but how proud of you. My goodness for all the work that you have been doing oh, <laughs> thank you so much but how about you what is your social work about like do you have a specific case or group of people oh. you focus okay yeah sure actually um before joining this um competition i was actually very involved with uh the advocacy of reproductive health which i really care dearly i started that when I started um, 
being a part of a sitcom, a show that was, you know, helped and supported by the BBC Media Action. It's called, it's a show called Love Nine. And inside I was an actress and also a presenter. And being in that show made me like learn more about reproductive health and gender equality. And then it starts to like teach me that, uh, making me realize, oh, how much my country needs it. And so, yeah, I really keep that and hold that cause dearly to me up until today. And then I see Miss Universe Cambodia and I'm like, oh, it's a very powerful platform. And actually, we're also very new to um, uh, the pageant field. And so I just want to bring that advocacy of mine, that issues, the cause I've been working on into, you know, within the platform of Miss Universe. So, yeah. That, that was I like... love it. Actually, the reproductive health area is not like very taken care of. And actually, if you see like education around it, it's not very strong. So I really love that you're supporting this cause. It's beautiful. Thank you. I see that it's not only just, um, you know, my country. We see that, okay, around the rural area the ladies especially the ladies they need a lot of you know education towards that but i believe many parts of the world needs that part as well even if they think that they know but i think they need more of it yeah i agree with you the world <laughs> needs more of you sarita <laughs> <laughs> the world needs like all of us our help we are the voice for them so I'm just so, so happy and grateful to be like, you know, talking to you and knowing people like you. Hopefully we could do like more of this very often as well. Yes, I actually enjoy it so much because we're having like this very pleasant conversation and learning about you and you're also learning about me. And we should like also share like our cultures, you know, like sometimes it's very interesting how this platform gives us a voice and it, like it actually lets us transmit our cultures to other people yes. and also what we were talking about about our social work like we can empower people women men like whatever we do we are in a platform right now that we have to take yeah. advantage of it You're and i right. think that's very nice of like yeah. that we have this opportunity to share stuff And I just love it. Yes, you are right. Oh, I'm just, <laughs> I'm very happy that I get to talk to you right now. And by the way, have you been to Asia? Have you visited Asia? Never. And it is a yes. dream of mine. Oh, like, it's unbelievable. Believe me, after Miss Universe, I'm coming to visit you. <laughs> But who knows? Miss Universe might, you know celebrate in Asia but we never know let's see what happens so it's a chance for you to come to Asia or me going to America <laughs> of course yes I would love to have you here and we would like take you around everywhere Salvadorans we are such good hosts yes. oh I, I actually checked and El Salvador has like um, the Pacific Ocean side of of it right yes <laughs> We have beautiful, warm beaches. Mm, okay, because for me, going to the beach is like my thing. And so I think if I can go to El Salvador or the part of like South America, because I only went to North America. I've never been to South America. Yeah, I've only heard of it. I've only seen beaches. Well, of it. We are in Central America. But it's, yeah. you would love it. Like my country, we have something that's very special. It's a very small country, but we're road, we have our surroundings are full of volcanoes and like these oh. mountains. So you can actually be in the beach and in 40 minutes be in the city and then another 40 minutes be on the volcano. Wow. And you have like all these different landscapes and you can like go through our country practically in one day like it's it's amazing wow, like you can go great. around so easily you have like all access to all different like kind of landscapes so it's amazing you would love it 
<laughs> we are very small, but yeah. our people are big. Uh, I check El Salvador is pretty much of a, a big country as well. Well, compared we're small. Yeah, compared to Cambodia, but... yeah, Cambodia is. is How big country. is your population? Around sixteen million. Yeah. Yes, we are yeah. six point four million. Really? Yes, it's very small. I'm telling you. Oh, okay. But we're big because of our people. I'm telling you, <laughs> our people are loving. We're very open. We always like having people from other countries, and our arms are always big, spread to you guys. Like we hug whoever comes in. <laughs> So you're more than welcome. We would love to have you around. We would take you around. I'll show you all of our beaches, everything you want to see. I bet we're going to make so many friends at the Miss Universe. And probably we can make like a trip later, you know, like go oh. visit each other. That would be so nice. Hopefully, like really, really hope that will happen. I mean, um, talk about your language how do we say hello is it like hola or yes you say hola but hola. if you add a little like spice it could be hola hola <laughs> yes <laughs> that's when you're really happy but yeah you say hola how about how do you say hi or hi how are you in your language okay hi or hello you can say suasley suasley <laughs> Suasadai. Oh my god, it's so complicated. Tua? Sua? Tua? Sadai. Sadai. Yes, Suasadai, Cambodia. So that's Hi, Cambodia? Yes, Suasadai. Suasadai, Cambodia? Yes, Suasadai, Cambodia. <laughs> OMG! It's a bit more complicated than I thought. Um, it's once you learn more about it it's actually simple very unique language mm -hmm. very unique writings it's it's very different <laughs> yes the writing i can tell when i went into your profile like oh. you write so different yeah <laughs> yeah well, our writings are very unique and it's very different and uh, i'm actually very grateful that i can be able you know to write fast <laughs> in my language yes because actually like i learned i know three languages english wow. spanish and french and they all use oh. like the same kind of writing so that's easy but learning a language like yours it must be like a whole new world like oh it's God. something completely different you speak french you speak français alors oui je peux parler français et toi ah. <laughs> Je parle un petit peu aussi. Yeah? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, because Cambodia, um, mm -hmm. not so long ago, we were actually colonized by the French. So that is why, you know, we speak French as well. That's how, you know, we have some French buildings still up until today. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's amazing. Yeah. But I actually, um, Cambodia is... It's like um, you. How how come you have like a little bit of French? Because we were colonized by the French mm -hmm. uh, in the early 19s. Oh my God! I didn't yeah. know. Yeah, that's uh, nice. Actually, Cambodians, we um, we actually speak. It's very normal for us to, to be speaking three languages or even four. Some people would speak Mandarin or Cantonese or Thai. Like, yeah. Yes, because you have, you kind of have a mix of cultures, right? Um, you have not, some like Thai, you have some... Not really, um, actually, but we're just the people that really wants to learn. Yeah, so... That's the reason why we speak like three or four languages in our country. So I'm very That's impressed. amazing because it's something where that's part of your culture and everybody learns with that within. So it's nice. We don't have that in my country actually. Most of us learn English mm. like I did. But if you but know how, like a third language, that's like a plus. 
But how did you learn French? Is it like a plus from school? Yes, yes, oh, it's so from school French because I, I went to a British school and they give you like the basics of French. Wow, wow, I'm really impressed. Oh, I should have like learned Spanish too because I remember when I was younger, I went to a primary French school and they actually have Spanish class. And so lots of my friends, they went for Spanish class and I went for Khmer class instead. Khmer class is the Cambodian language because uh, I was in between trying to learn Khmer and then French at the same time. And then I was like, oh no, I think I can't take Spanish for now. I'll learn later. <laughs> But you know, Spanish is number one language worldwide. I know, I know. It's one of like the most used language in the world. I, I know that. And like, yes, and it's and crazy I because I always very... thought it was English because everybody communicates throughout English yes. when you're from like... different cultures. So I always thought it was English. Yes, and, and it was like, I find Spanish very it's a very attractive language for some for some reason even if i don't speak spanish i would just because i'm an actress too so when i'm alone in my room or in the bathroom taking shower i would just try to like act i speak spanish hola como estas uh oh, but you know some words that's amazing <laughs> and i'm like okay <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Actually, I wanted to ask you earlier on the other live before like it cut. Um, okay. Since when have you been acting? Oh, uh, I started acting around um, in 2013. So it's like, it's wow. been seven years already. Yeah, I was 17 that time. And started, what do you like acting on? Like movies, series, like what do you do? Commercials? Everything that involves acting. I have been doing actually, I've acted in over 10 films now, including short film, feature film, wow. uh, TV series, web series. And uh, I actually make my own films with my crew as well. Like I work in the um, film production too. You know, I also work behind the camera. So I'm really involved with uh, filmmaking as well. So yeah. <laughs> I love that. That's so cool. <laughs> Thank you. But you, like, I've seen your photos. My goodness. I'm like, oh my goodness, Vanessa. That's <laughs> Vanessa. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you. <laughs> like her. You also look so beautiful in your pictures. I was like, oh, OMG, when they told me, like, you're doing a live with Miss Cambodia, I was like, let me go check her out. Wow, your pictures are the first, the first thing I told you, do you remember? It's like, wow, girl, you're so beautiful. Like, I love your pictures. Thank you, Vanessa. So do you. Well, so do you. <laughs> uh, I hope I can have you close at Miss Universe and we can be seeing each other yes. and talking with each yes. other all the time. I'm really curious, like, who we will be roommates with. Like, yes, really I, I wonder, like, can we pick that? Or is it, like, a random thing? I think I, it has to do a lot with languages also, no? I think so, yeah. Like, from different regions, mm -hmm. I think so. Let's, let's both of us ask our national directors. They're more sure than that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> for sure they know. <laughs> Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, that, but Vanessa, so... I know yep. that you will have a busy day and you have a lot of work going on because it's morning time for you. And uh, here it's almost 11 p.m. It's like my sleeping time. Yes. <laughs> you got to go to bed so you wake up early tomorrow to get all yes. your busy agenda done. Yes, yes. Well, hopefully we can do um, another live session together. All right. And, of uh, course, I would love Christmas that. I had so soon. much fun this live yeah. session with you. And we have so many so many people connected and saying hi. Oh, like, yeah. Let yes, they're all joining still. Like, yeah. it's going yeah. up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, but it was oh. amazing. It was a pleasure to have you in this live with me. And hopefully we do it again soon. 
Yes, Vanessa, I am so, 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 so happy that I get to go on this live session with you. And uh, I want to say, actually, uh, on behalf of, you know, you and me, I would like to say thank you to everyone that is watching our live, you know, session at the moment. Uh, hola to uh, El, El Salvador. Salvador. Yeah, El Salvador. Hola, El Salvador. Hola, yeah. El Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> And to say bye, you say adios. Adios, El Salvador. And how do you say good night? Buenas noches. Ah, I know that. Buenas noches. Pero, pero here it's buenos dias. Feliz dia. You can say feliz dia. Feliz dias. Feliz dias, everyone. Thank how you do so I say buenas noches, Cambodia? Ah, thank you. You can say... um. Oh, it's a little bit hard, but you want to try our good, good night word? <laughs> oh my God, it's going to be it's hard. Only four, it's only four syllables. Okay, four let's syllables. try it. Let's try it. Ria. Ria. Try. Try. Yeah, suosnai. Suosnai. Yeah, ria try suosnai. Si es le or si es lai? Ria trai. Ria trai. Ria trai so es lai. Yes, girl. Yeah, you nailed it. <laughs> uh, I need to learn your language. <laughs> <laughs> you can just say, like, you can just learn. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. It's Akon. Hello. It's Suasadai. And then good night. Akon. Suasadai. Yes, Akon. Was right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn the basics. Next time we're live, I'm going to be able to say hi, good night, and bye. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, Sarita. It was lovely to meet you and to be able to talk to you and share this live with you. We're going to be in contact. And yes. thank you, everyone who was connected and who's still joining us. Yes. It was amazing to have you all guys interacting with us in here. So thank you so much for all the love and for sharing with us this special moment. Yes. All right, Vanessa. Uh, have a good day, okay? I'm, I'm you so glad too. I'm live session. Have a good rest. Yes. And you Take have care. a good day. All right? Take care. Thank you so much. Hugs. Bye-bye. Buenas noches. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.